Hey everyone, it's Miranda from Diamond Penny with the Besties. How are you? How have you all been? It's been a while, but I promise I have something so epic for you today. It's sneak peek time, friends. And you know I get super excited whenever I show you anything from Pam Diamond Paintings, right? This is no exception, but this is especially exciting because this is one of my favorite artists and it is a newly signed artist from Pam. And I know that you guys are gonna be super, super excited. So a huge thank you to Pam and team um, for including me on this journey with you and allowing me to show sneak peeps sneak peeks and represent um, your business. So first and foremost, I did get a little thank you note with a cute little uh, cover minder that says smile and then she wrote in a note, Miranda, I appreciate you more than you know. Thank you for helping Pam. So if you guys um, are new or you don't know, a cover minder is something cute like this. It has two magnets on the back, varies in sizes and shape. You put this on top of your plastic, this underneath it and it holds the plastic back while you're diamond painting. So you can have the amazing diamond painting experience as well as having something cute to look at. So with every Pam kit, you do get a toolkit. Now you can put in the notes uh, that you do not, if you do not want a toolkit, because that's what I do when I um, make my own purchases. I put a uh, no toolkit, please, because I have so many. But let me show you what you get in a Pam toolkit. So first it comes in this, in a really pretty organza bag, color varies. You get um, a pot with a couple pieces of wax in there, a cute little cover minder. This one is of a little bunny butt, super cute, and it comes in a case. And then you get um, a standard kit. So you get a white moss boat with spout, some wax baggies, um, a couple multi-placers, a pair of tweezers, a pen, and a squishy. You also will receive a roll of washi tape, which is random. And this one is a really pretty um, hearts, red and blue hearts right here, and a lot of it. So thank you so much, Pam. Love it. Now. Let's get down to business, right? So this artist is loved by many and is highly sought after. Her art is so epic that almost like every single piece I want, right? Whether it's in a print, a diamond painting. This artist also was licensed um, with another company, but is no longer. And so a lot of us were afraid we'd never ever get to see Lizzie art ever again until now. Oh, and I just gave it away. It's Lizzie, Lizzie Falcon. Oh my God, right? I didn't even notice that I just like blurted that out. But yes, you guys, this is a piece from Lizzie Falcon. And when I was asked which one I wanted, I had to go through the stuff I already had to make sure that I didn't duplicate it. And since I heard the cat out of the bag, no pun intended, uh, let's get right into it. You guys, this is Flora by Lizzie Falcon. I absolutely love this image and I had to make sure I did not have her. She's a big one. This is a 60 by 80 square diamond painting with a beads. There are 47 colors in this and it has three ABs. Now you can add more if you want. Um, it's yours to do whatever you want. So up at the top, we do up, we have the serial, you know, the kit number, size and shape. We have Pam's logo at the top. You do get two legends, one in the upper right, one in the lower left, and each one does have a thumbnail. At the bottom, it has the title and the artist showing that is legally licensed. And then Pam's slogan, cherish the beauty in every sparkle. We do also get our poked and scalped edges to help prevent fraying. Now this is large, so this does have two pieces of plastic. It actually makes it a lot easier because it is thinner, which I kind of like. But when you are working on sections, it helps prevent uh, the plastic from tearing as much. The symbol clarity is absolutely amazing. So we have this gorgeous woman, Flora, right? 
and she's covered in flowers. She has her little birdie friend on her shoulder right here. She's got a, you know, wreath on her head and then a low cut uh, floral embellishment on her top. Um, this right here, I believe, is the artist's signature. Um, I'm not sure how that will come out, but we'll see. But And we'll look more into it uh, when I bring out the um, sticker sheet to show you guys. This, Like I said, the Symbol Clarity is amazing. And the confetti is actually not too bad. Now, in the flowers, yes, but there are lots of areas for color blocking. Um, there's just two or three different colors in the background right here maybe some checkerboarding on the side we have little embellishments up here now there is a tiny bit of glue that poured over but that is okay some alcohol will help take that out just do it very gently um, with a q-tip um, let's me show you let me hold it up so you can see the symbol clarity and this is showing this to you guys in the natural light in my kitchen um, so what do you think? Isn't she absolutely stunning? I will check the stickiness for, to show you guys. Very, very sticky. Pam's kits are very sticky and it is poured glue. Oh my God. I can't believe it's, it's actually here. What I love so much about Lizzie is that her girls are like gray, grayish. They have like a grayish hue to them. And I believe, if I remember correctly, one of the reasons that she does that is to represent women as a whole, all women. So you're not, so you're just seeing a gorgeous woman. You're not seeing, not that ethnicity and color is bad, but you don't know. It's just a gorgeous woman. I love her full lips. I love her big eyes. I love the shading. Huge fan of Lizzie. Now, this comes with two packs of drills because there is a lot in the background and this kit is so large. This is a square, like I said. We will go through the colors, but I will pull out these sticker sheets for you. Now, this does not have a super bright color palette. I mean, there are some colors, but if you like super bright colors, um, then... Uh, this may not be the kit, but we will go through and you guys can see what you think, right? So here's our sheet right here. This one is just paper, but um, here it is for your thumbnail. You can put this in your logbook. Yeah, this is her little bird friend. And yes, that would be her the signature down there. Um, I love the high collarbones and the shading, and she's absolutely stunning. So you can run this through your Zyron sticker maker. Um, what I like to do... Um, I work right out of baggie, so I just use this um, as my legend to keep on the side. But if you are uh, a person who prefers to kit up, make a photocopy of this first before you run it through your sticker maker. That way you can keep this by you to make it a little easier. I know it helps me out significantly. So before we get into all these colors, let me flip this over for all of you. So that way you can see them better. So we're gonna start off with this small one first, and then I'm gonna put it away and then we'll get into the larger one, all right? So we have 317, 407, 400, 422, 613, 779, 801, 869, 902, 977, that's gorgeous. 3072, 3021, a nice size bag of 3756. I love this color. So we do have a couple, you know, um, blues and shades of blue, and then we have some oranges and browns. 
The shading is going to be amazing on here with the contrasts. Alrighty, so I'm going to, let me just, I'm almost done. Let me just close it up. Close this bad boy up and we will get into the big bag. So here's our big bag of grills again. I should put my legend back in. I'm excited to see these ABs, you guys, and where they're going to go. All right, 3799, 152, 160, 161, 169, 225, 676, 413, 778, 318, 336, 371-819. 414, big bag. 415, so there's lots of grays. 938. 3828, I'm sorry. Our first AB, AB211. Put that to the side. 420. 647. 780, 840, 950. Here is our second and third AB. We have a 746 and an 823. So they look similar, but this one's a little darker. So two different shades of yellow. That will look really pretty. And then we have um, one big bag of 310. And the other one is of 939. So it looked like a lot more, but you guys, it is just like a lot of one color. So I happen to like how the, this type of coloring comes out. You know, I do like the darker colors, but um, when you have those splashes of pinks or mauves or even like the, the wine and the burgundy, they just pop so much more when they're um, up against these dark colors. And who doesn't love like pinks and grays together? Now you can tell, um, really, really nice draw quality. Um, I have had zero issues so far uh, while I've been working on my PAM kit. Yes, I will be starting it up again uh, very, very soon because that is my goal uh, to finish it. But in the meantime, let me actually just slide my legend in here so I do not lose it. So thank you for being patient. It's insane when you go such a long time without making a video and you're like completely like out of it. So here we go. Let's uh, flip Flora back over and let's check her out. So AB746 is the U-turn symbol. AB83832, excuse me, I missed the three. 3832 is a check mark. And 211 is a black dot, which will make it incredibly easy um, to decipher because of all of these darker colors. So we do have a check mark right here. So it's sprinkled here, sprinkled here. Um, it looks like... A little bit of a glare. It looks, let me, I gotta hold this up. It looks like the ABs are going to be sprinkled. Okay, so the purple's through here. The ABs are gonna be sprinkled throughout the flowers. Um, so I think that's gonna be a really, really nice uh, touch to it. Um, so tell me you guys, who is a Lizzie Falcon fan? Do you guys have any of her work? I mean, do you, she's got social media. I follow her social media. Um, I'm signed up on her website. You know, she's an amazingly talented woman and I adore her work, especially when she puts her little friends in here as well. So guess what though? The kit will be available as 
the, view, the showing of this video. Yes, you heard me right. The link for it will be down below and just click on it and you will have access to this Lizzie kit as well as other ones that are probably already on the website. So you guys tell me, I want to know. I mean, I was like completely blown away when this announcement was made because I never thought I would get another Lizzie piece ever again. So, with that being said, I want to know, what's on your wish list? Which one is your favorite? How many Lizzie pieces do you have? I want to know all the information. I'm just doing this because air bubbles drive me crazy and I'm always getting them in my, in my kits. So, that's it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. Huge shout out uh, to Pam. Thank you so much uh, for including me. I absolutely love this. Uh, you're killing it. So you guys head on over to Pam Diamond Paintings, um, check it out. She has literally like thousands of images and some amazingly talented artists. So I hope you have a fabulous rest of your Friday and a great weekend. And I will see you guys later. Remember to be safe and be kind. Bye.